Hello, welcome again to our course and you are doing the automated Twitter posting with Python and my name is Bertha Hokum, your instructor. So what we've done so far is prepare our uh, development environment. We've installed Python, we have installed Atom, um, we've also in this lecture um, gone to Twitter and registered our um, application and by now you should have um, the keys that you need from Twitter. So let's just remind you what those keys are. You should have what we call an access token, um, which you get from your um, uh, Twitter uh, account, the way we've done in the last lecture. You should have an access secret. Um, and then once you have those two, you um, um, should also have an API key and API secret. Sorry, you get the API key and API secret first, and then you generate an access key and an access token to uh, be able to um, to do a poll. So you need both of these four four things, okay? I've gotten them and I've uh, saved them in a different file that is called config.py. If you look at my desktop in the same directory, I have uh, the initial file that we created, testing.py, and then I have config.py. It's just another Python script. I made it exactly the same way I made the first one, but I'm not going to show you the config file because it has all my keys and secrets. But in your case, um, just a copy and paste it here. Enter your access token there. Enter your access key there. Um, you can pause this video here, go and do that, and then come back once you've, um, you've entered them correctly. Okay. Assuming that you've done that, let us now prepare to post our first Twitter key. Okay. Now we're going to do something we haven't done before in what we call using uh, Python libraries. Okay. Um, when you install Python, it comes bare with the basic necessities. You can do simple things like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. But there are certain things like, for example, automating your Twitter um, uh, feed that um, you, would, you, you, know, you, would, you would need to write so much code to be able to do it that other people have already done it. And they've created things that are called a libraries in Twitter. And you can use other people's libraries to uh, do your code, which then makes you only have to write what, four or five lines of code as opposed to, you know, doing the HTTP request and a whole lot of other things that would take you, you know, a whole lot of boilerplate code. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, we are going to use a Twitter library that is called Twippy, okay? And for us to be able to do that, we're going to go back to our command line, okay? So um, let's just uh, search for um, our terminal and uh, let's look, f let's install uh, what we call Tweepy. And the way you do that is you use uh, pip, um, which we've you should have that comes with your Python. Um, and we want to use pip3 because we don't want to use the uh, uh, Python2. Uh, we need to type pip3 install Tweepy. Okay. Now, there are certain cases that you might find that the pip, uh, which is the package manager, doesn't come installed with your uh, original Python and if you do this in the, the, this command and it says uh, does not recognize the command pip3 what you need to do is to go back to the internet and you need to install uh, pip okay search for install pip and um, you will see uh, a website that comes up with the instructions of how to install pip uh, a Python and look for this uh, depending on your operating environment, but I won't do that now because in a lot of the cases pip comes installed with a Python and if it doesn't um, you, you might have to do that. So when you uh, go to your command line and click pip3 install tweepy, you should be able to immediately install it and if it comes up with an error that says pip command not found, then you have to go back and install pip. So in our case, we assume that pip is installed, install tweepy and we we'll click enter. Okay. In my case, um, it takes a bit of time, but um, collecting Tweepy and it's, 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 it's a couple of seconds. And if it works, you'd, you should have this thing that says successfully installed um, installed that. OK, so now we can use P, uh, Tweepy. And to make sure that it's installed correctly, let us just do Python 3 again and go to our uh, uh, Python and just uh, uh, try um, um, import. Tweepy, okay? 
And if everything works well, you should not have any errors. You should have the command line coming again, which means you have installed Tweepy correctly. So we're going to exit out of this. And um, we've tested that. I will not do this all the time, but in, for your reference in future, if you want to make sure you have a library installed, you could just go quickly to the command line, uh, import it inside a Python shell, and then make sure that it's, it, it, it imports without errors, then you know that you've installed it correctly. Okay, so let's go back to our uh, file that we created, testing the PI. If you remember, we installed this in the last lesson. Let us look for, let us import Tweepy. Okay. What we just installed now and in my case i'm also going to import the config file the config file is the one which is on the same directory as as where i'm working from in your case you do not need this line okay because you would have your access keys and your access tokens in the file but in my case because i do not have them in the file and i do not want to show them to you i'm going to put them in a different file and i'm going to import that file directly at the top Okay, so now let's 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 test it. Let us we are ready to send our first tweet, which we'll do in the next lecture.